and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Gruel Anti-Flash, which is going to be our first deck of the day. You can see here over on the left-hand side, we got three donation decks to kick off the stream today. And this particular deck, we're calling Gruel Anti-Flash because this deck is kind of built to try to beat the Flash deck and control. That's what we're trying to do. We, we do not want our things countered and we want to have good, good threats against Flash and control. So what we got here is we have our 25 lands uh, with our brand new card styles from Basic Lands. So that's very nice. We got our eight uh, mana creatures help ramp us into our threat. So we have four Domries that can tick up and make it so our creature spells can't be countered this turn. Rhythm of the Wild also says our creature spells can't be countered this turn. So with those five cards, then hopefully we're resolving Spellbreaker and Phoenix. As you know, won't be able to be countered. And Voracious Hydra also getting in, getting in there and uh, being some removal for us that also hopefully can't be countered because of these things. And then we also have our things that just can never be countered. We have our Shifting Ceratops, our Carnage Tyrants, and our Chandras. So we are going real heavy in our can't be countered theme and hopefully beating up on Flash and Control. If that's not enough, we got four Veil of Summer in the sideboard, three Fry. Still not getting anything countered. Against Control, we'll be bringing in the four War Boss. Because we need need more stuff against Control here. And then we decided, well, we should probably play a couple other sideboard cards for some other stuff. So we have two Lava Coils and two Blood Suns for the Scape Shift decks to finish it out. But, you know, the other decks are whatever. We're just wanting to beat Flash and beat Control. That's <laughs> that's the, the goal of the deck here. Um, all right, so let's let's give this a try. And, uh, yeah, no art style for, yeah, no card style for Rhythm or Voracious Hydra. So let's give this a try. This should be fun. Let's hopefully get paired against some Flash decks. All right. We're heading on over to the traditional Constructed queue, like always, with our donation decks. We'll pay our gold and see how it goes. Yep. <laughs> hopefully we run into Flash and Control. That's what we're hoping to, to play against. Flash and control. <laughs> it's all mono red. No. Oh, I guess there's a new timer update. They actually just put the timer thing there. Man, I'm liking these basic land art styles. I'm liking it. Finally. Well. If we're on the play, I would definitely keep this. On the draw, though, it's probably not going to be good enough. Honestly. Darn it, this hand is perfect if one of these was a forest. This is just perfect. Love this hand. Come on. Seriously? We don't have a playable four. I guess, actually. All right, you, you, and you. All right, we're playing against control. We can still do this. We still got this. Don't call it a comeback. We are never behind to begin with. So I think I need to play the Anarchobolus here, like if we don't draw land. Man, it's just disfigure. They're just disfiguring my Paradise Druid. So yeah, I, I need to play the Domri for this extra mana. They're going to disfigure the Paradise Druid. You think I'm a crazy beast? Busting heads is my bread and butter. Oh, come on. 
not finished with Withdraw you. Draw lands. Not by a long shot. Hmm. So there's 52 cards. We know the bottom three are lands. There's 25 lands in here. It's not like we're only playing, you know, like one land or whatever. No, we have to shuffle all those cards from the bottom back in that I don't want to draw. At least we're definitely winning games two and three. Because we're not going to, you know, like we're not going to go to four. All right. Beating us can't is going to be a little tough, though. We'll see how our Ceratops do. but effective. All right, Veil vale Summers, Legion War Bosses, all in here. Hydra, Strike, Spellbreaker. I think I want rhythm. Well, no, we don't really need rhythm. Should probably be playing the fries. Honestly, Domri isn't really that great here. Should probably be playing the fries because fries kill either Nicol Bolas. Like their Grixis control, they got to be playing a bunch of Nicol Boluses, right? All right, let's go with this. Hmm. Yeah, but I'm not ex like the Grixis deck isn't going to be playing counter spells. <laughs> okay, never mind. Maybe we can lose. So the the rhythm. Like, basically, the rhythm all it's doing is giving our creatures haste. And we don't really need... You don't... Like, you don't want to spend a card just to give your creatures haste whenever the control deck is trying to kill all your things. It's kind of a waste of a card. Doesn't do anything on its own. So I think it's I think it's important like if they're gonna have a thought erasure, I would rather have the Phoenix in play than the Ceratops in play. Boom. Dead. Hey, welcome back, Girl Making Waffles. Staying on that six month streak. Thank you so much for that resub there. Sub number two on the day. Hey, Kaz. All right, let's give this a try again.
I like the Ceratops. Might have been good. We played one and our opponent conceded, so they've been pretty good so far. So we don't have any double reds for turn three. So we don't need to play we don't need to shock in with stomping ground first. We'd like to draw a three drop, like Legion War Boss. Nope. Hmm. They're not playing counter spells, right? I don't know. Maybe they are. I'm still gonna play the Phoenix. I'd rather be able to play Ceratops with five mana, give it, you know, play it, give it haste, kind of thing. No, I couldn't see any. I couldn't find any unhinged lands. I wanted. I wanted to get unhinged lands, but I didn't see any in the store. But they have like on the the front page. There's like a picture of the unhinged swamp, and so I was all like, "What is this?" Man, our opponent is in trouble. <laughs> They're down to ten. We got these two things they got to deal with, and then we got Chandra and Carnage Tyrant also. That is some trouble. I just have lethal. Ceratops have pro blue. Can't block them. Five power each. They're at ten. Ugh, boom. All right. So far, our deck is perfect. Our anti-flash slash anti-control deck. Play versus control, win the game. There we go. <laughs> Thanks, Poppy. Yeah, that was a little bit of a rough start. We came back. So, all good. Oh, I don't have Deckmaster up. Surprised nobody said anything. Let me get that going. We All right, waiting on our opponent. Looks like our our opponent's gonna be playing control, so we're waiting on him. It's, those are it's probably a correlation there. Ooh, so if y'all don't didn't know. Remember, uh, this Saturday is our sub battle Saturday. It's the last Saturday of the month. Hmm. We'll say sub battle stream. The same time, normal time, and everything. But I'm just gonna be playing against subscribers all day. It's a lot of fun. I put up all the decks that I have on a wheel and we spin it to see what I'm playing. And the subscribers bring their fun decks and everything. Hey, vegan. Yeah, we got some nice basics. I'm pretty excited. 
No, Boot won't be here. It'll just be me. Um, they there's only a couple of lands where you have card styles. So you have like two choices, like two forests, two mountains, and stuff like that. So I'm using the War of the Spark Forest and the, the M20 Mountain. No, dead. Get out of here. We're not going to mance any Electros. Yeah, they just... The card style basics just came out today on the store and everything. Uh, I cannot kill Sahili quite with the Spellbreaker, so let's just play the Phoenix. You know, play Spellbreaker haste, I can attack for four. Let's just get the Phoenix in play. Certainly hoping no Lava Coils over there, of course. Yay. Hey, kitty. I'm going to try to finish off Sahili here, but they could Lightning Strike the Phoenix. Well darn. wasn't very inventive uh yeah refresh your stream or i don't know did somebody else let me know is deckmaster working i'm not sure if it's actually working or not it's it's supposed to be up but i i just brought it up between this uh between matches here so if you were if you already had the stream up it may not be up for you it is not working Hmm. Well, well, good to know. But yeah, it's. Um, I guess I could exit and try opening it again. No, I did not get the Zendikar lands. No, not working. We can we can definitely beat these things. They're only they're down to two cards, so I kind of like where we're at. Oh, there was a phoenix over there. I didn't see that they they discarded a phoenix. That makes life a little worse. Take out three of these things. 
Yeah, we can have Chandra minus three, of course. Um, certainly a little unfortunate. Our mana situation, like one one more mana would have been nice to be able to strike and hold back Spellbreaker. Hmm. Alright, so they'd rather have their three tokens. Okay, let's hopefully draw land. Wow, Shock was their worst card? That's a good card. I am glad they're just like using all of these instants and sorceries. Whoa, they they changed the libraries back to being looking really small now. Look at how small this library looks. Like they they went the other way now. It looks like there's like two cards over here. All right, let's get some coils. And some fries. Hmm. It's not a very good matchup for Ceratops or Phoenix. With lava coils. I guess Rhythm of the Wild does... I was going to take it out, but I guess it does make the Ceratops like a five toughness and everything. Makes all these cards five toughness. Let's trim one Domri, and then let's trim a couple of these. I don't know, Carnage Siren's really not that bad here. Let me just trim a Ceratops. Actually, I like Ceratops more than Phoenix. I don't really like Phoenix here. Alright, we'll go like this. I believe it's smaller than before before, than like the first time. But maybe my eyes and my sight kind of adjusted. Yeah, this, this definitely seems like it's smaller than before. But who knows? So Boros sleeves are bugged and make the, the deck huge still. Yeah, yeah, the size was perfect before, and then they made it then they made the deck really huge and now it's tiny. I actually kinda liked the the large deck, like how it, it would show like whenever you scry to the bottom, you could kinda see like the bottom card and everything. I didn't mind it too much. I think this is my least favorite version, like where it's only where it only looks like there's like four cards. Cause I'm like looking at it, I'm like, oh man, I'm about to mill them out. Awesome. Maybe we can go for the mill plan and then scroll over it. Oh, 51 cards, never mind. I think the cat looks about the same to me. You've never seen anything like this. Innovation knows no bounds. I will return. Mm -hmm. 
I can't use their removal spells if I don't play anything. Yeah, I have I got I got the the yeah, there's an update. I got the card style basic lands. They're using the same old ones before. They look pretty sweet. Hey, very soft sheep. Glad you're enjoying the YouTube videos and everything. Thanks for watching them over there. Go, Tyrant. Go, Tyrant, go. It's a big Tyrantosaurus Rex. Ooh, they're going for the double block. They're they're gonna try the triple double block. Or not. My favorite arena animation. There's a lot of good ones. That's a good one right there. There's so many good ones. The Niv Mizzet Reborn is really, really cool. Um You like when the opponent concedes? That animation? Uh, there's a lot of good ones, like, you know, Mox Amber, Crucible of Worlds. Uh, Kalia has a really sweet animation. We played Kalia for the first time yesterday. That was that animation was awesome. Lazav is really good. Bolos. Yeah, Bolos definitely is a good one. Star of Extinction. That's a great one. A lot of good ones. Dinos vs. Drakes. <laughs> Ravager Worm? Oh man, Ravager Worm's a great one. Oh, maybe that's my favorite too. That's such a great one. Mnemonic Betrayal. The Rock's pretty good. Oh, the Tezzeret Claw! Oh, that's a great one, too! And there's there are some awesome ones. It's not a good block. Lethal. It's 
See, dinos are sweet. Let's get some more dinos in here. Our opponent's over there chilling with all their shocks and strikes and coils and all that kind of stuff. Just can't do anything. Uh, yeah, so protection from X only does mean X, but a multicolor card is both, like, you know, Crackling Drake is both blue and red. So protection from blue does count Crackling Drake, because Crackling Drake is blue. So it's it's anything that's blue whatsoever. And so it does, it, it does include... So yeah, so they, they could not block this Shifting Ceratops with anything they had there. Come on, draw Paradise Druid or something like that. Or removal. Draw some two mana spell. Any two mana spell we have. Yeah, removal is good. Uh, Alright, we'll take Paradise Druid. Alright, so next turn I'm going Rhythm of the Wild. So that my creatures will be... like So these things will be five toughness so they won't die to coil. So I'm not actually going to be using the Paradise Druid here. And that also means they don't get to shock my Paradise Druid to help get back their Phoenix also. Wow, what a hand. Electromancer, double Phoenix. <laughs> double Tormenting voice there. Wow, what a hand. Well, we're probably dead. We're gonna need to draw land. I guess I could go Domri to make sure that we have a land. Yeah, we're gonna have to go Domri. Ooh, I look forward to seeing you. <laughs> have at it, boys. Yeah, that's a just an amazing turn three attacking with multiple phoenixes. Yeah, Teamer Elemental is competitive and ranked. Yeah, absolutely. I I remade my Teamer Elemental deck that I was planning on playing today, but then we got we uh, got this donation deck later on later on. So I'll be playing the Teamer Elemental deck tomorrow. Some lessons for you all. Well, turn four kill. That was a great hand. All right, well, they weren't playing Flash, and they weren't playing Control, so we lost. But if our opponent's playing Flash or Control, I like our chances. Yeah, so the reason why nothing happened in that... In that... Uh, in that, because the... The Domri minus two is a fight ability that has to target your creature, and the Domri can't target your creature because the Domri is red. So whenever you use God's Willing on your creature, give it pro red in response, then the fight just can't happen because it can't target so that the fight part fizzles. No, not aggro. I don't want to face aggro. Especially on the draw. All right, so PSA for you vampire players out there. Don't play Vicious Conquistador. Get Vicious Conquistador out of your vampire deck. Play the new black one-drop vampire instead. Something to do with, like, Dire Moons or something. Get that card in there instead.
Xerif, what is up? Thanks for that resub there. Pancakes or waffles? Hmm, I think I'm gonna go with pancakes. Yeah, I think I'll go pancakes over waffles. Yeah, Ashiok. Ashiok is a uh, is definitely a really good cyborg card these days. I'm playing. I was gonna. I'm playing it in my Orzhov Sacrifice deck later, and it'll be in my Tumor Elemental deck. Um, up tomorrow. I moved it to tomorrow. But yeah, with these Scape Shift decks all running around, Ashiok's it's only turned into a good cyborg card. Hey, another great hand for the opponent. Hmm. All right, Veil of Summer's in, Lava Coil in. Take out Ceratops and a Rhythm. All right, come on, deck. <laughs> yeah, we played against a control deck the, the first round. I. Our deck is not going to be vampires very often, but we didn't de we didn't design our deck to be vampires. These land basic lands are new card styles in the store starting today. Ugh, I can't even block Knight. This thing's a five six one drop. That's it. It's a one drop that's a five six death touch. Can't even block it. We're gonna get one of them out of here at least. Yeah, everything's going good, Narinen. Yeah, we just kind of run into three games in a row where our opponents have had incredibly, incredibly aggressive good draws. And our deck's not really built to beat incredibly, incredibly good aggressive draws. Our last game against that Phoenix opponent when they are attacking with no, multiple no, Phoenixes on turn, turn three and killed us on turn four. And now the Vampire... deck with at least their turn four was pretty bad though so that's that's good news for us they had a really bad turn four mm. well so much for good news never mind their turn four suddenly wasn't so bad
Yeah, those are some awesome draws. Awesome hands, three games in a row, three matches in a row. Or games, I guess. <laughs> yeah, we got run we got runned over. Ran over there. All right, so that's that's Gruel Anti Flash. Uh, very very good against Flash and against Control. Uh, we saw us play against Control and dominated. Um, but the real aggressive stuff that other decks can do is going to be a little better than what we're doing here. Um, obviously, there's a lot of ways with Gruel to, to make the deck better against Aggro, um, including like if you're just going with this list, like Legion War Boss is nice, but really not that necessary. But it's it's just a you know it's a it's another nice card to have against control but if you wanted if you wanted slots for anti aggro you can cut the four war bosses and play more more anti aggro stuff there get some more removal in um so that's an option there but if you are if you are somebody who's at an m who has a ton of flash and um control decks yeah, everybody's playing their their blue cards and everything like that. This is an awesome option to just uh, run them over, make their cards, not be able to counter your things or kill your things and everything like that. So there we go. All right, uh, thanks, Kronkslayer, for the donation deck here. All right, if you're watching the video later on YouTube, I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. But thank you so much for watching Gruel Anti-Flash, and I will see you for the next video.